Whispering Woods, Uniting Through Friendship Once upon a time, three friends lived in harmony in the enchanting Whispering Woods, Luna the Owl, Milo the Mouse, and Bella the Butterfly. They shared many adventures, but each experienced the forest in their own unique way. Luna the Owl was the guardian of the night. With her wide, wise eyes, she glided silently through the dark, starry sky above Whispering Woods. Her hoots echoed softly, a comforting sound in the quiet of the night. Milo the mouse, small and nimble, had his domain on the forest floor. He scurried along, exploring hidden nooks and crannies, always curious and eager to discover the secrets held in the shadows of the moonlight. Agile Bella the butterfly brought color and laughter to the forest. Her wings shimmered in the sunlight as she danced among the flowers. Her flight was a dazzling display of grace and vibrancy, a splash of color against the green canvas of the woods. One misty morning, a change came over Whispering Woods. A mysterious fog, thicker and more confusing than any they had seen before, crept in silently, enveloping the forest in a ghostly embrace. It was a curious fog, one that seemed to have a life of its own. As it rolled in, it muffled the familiar sounds of the forest, turning the cheerful chirps of birds and the rustling of leaves into distant, muted echoes. The fog blurred the once vivid and clear sights. The once bright colors of the forest were now veiled in a blanket of gray, making the familiar paths and landmarks unrecognizable. It was as if the forest had been redrawn by an invisible hand, with paths that twisted and turned in unfamiliar ways confusing even the most knowledgeable inhabitants. The trees, usually so tall and proud, now loomed like shadows, their outlines hazy and indistinct. The streams, which generally bubbled with clarity, flowed silently, their courses obscured by the dense mist. Even the air felt different, heavy with moisture, and a strange sense of anticipation, as if the fog was waiting to reveal hidden secrets of whispering woods, this fog was more than a natural phenomenon for Luna, Milo, and Bella. It was a challenge, a mystery they had never encountered in their beloved forest home. The fog tested their knowledge and their senses, and as it settled deeper into the woods, they realized that finding each other and navigating through this transformed world would be an adventure like no other. Luna who had always relied on her keen night vision to soar gracefully through the night skies, found herself at a disadvantage. The thick fog clouded her sight, transforming the clear, moonlit world into a hazy maze. From above, the forest was a blur, its details lost in the mist. She strained her eyes, hoping to glimpse Milo's scampering or Bella's fluttering, but the fog was an impenetrable veil, obscuring her friends from view. She felt a twinge of helplessness, a rare sensation for the usually confident owl. Down on the forest floor, Milo experienced his own struggles. The familiar paths, marked by scents and landmarks he had come to know like the back of his paw, were now alien under the fog's influence. The once identifiable smells were diluted, and the landmarks were shrouded. Every direction seemed the same and the usual rustling and bustling of the forest floor were eerily absent. He scurried hesitantly, pausing often, his whiskers twitching in uncertainty. The forest, which had always been a place of adventure, now felt like an uncharted labyrinth. For Bella, the change was equally disorienting. Her world was one of vibrant colors and delicate fragrances, but now it was as if she had flown into a monochrome painting the bright flowers and lush green leaves were dulled to shades of gray and white. The rich tapestry of the forest, which she used to navigate, had vanished, leaving her fluttering in confusion. The landmarks she used for guidance were gone and the air lacked the floral scents she loved. Bella found herself adrift in a featureless expanse, longing for the return of color to her world. In their isolation, each friend longed for the others. Luna missed Milo's excited tales of the forest floor and Bella's cheerful stories of the treetops. Milo yearned for Luna's wise words and Bella's infectious laughter. Bella ached for Luna's soothing hoots and Milo's adventurous spirit. In the heart of the disorienting fog, Luna, Milo, and Bella 
were each driven by a strong desire to reunite. Luna, perched on a high branch, began experimenting with her hoots. She tried various pitches and rhythms, each hoot a beacon in the foggy night, a call to her friends. She listened intently after each call, hoping for a familiar response, her heart fluttering with each echo that returned unanswered. On the forest floor, Milo became a tiny percussionist. He tapped on tree trunks, stones, and anything that would resonate, creating a rhythmic map of sounds. The patterns were intricate, a Morse code of sorts, a sequence he hoped Luna and Bella could decipher. As he tapped away, his ears perked up for any sign of response, a signal that his friends were nearby and moving towards him. Meanwhile, Bella found her unique way to cut through the fog's veil. She discovered that her wings could catch and reflect the faintest of lights filtering through the fog, creating a sparkling, shimmering beacon. She fluttered from one spot to another, her wings a dynamic canvas, casting gentle, sparkling lights into the mist, like a lighthouse guiding lost ships at sea. As if guided by an unseen force, the trio slowly began to recognize these novel forms of communication. Luna's varied hoots echoing through the fog reached Milo's keen ears. In turn, Milo's rhythmic tapping provided Luna with a direction to follow. Bella's flickering light signals, though subtle, caught both Luna's and Milo's attention, drawing them closer to her location. It was a dance of sounds and lights, a symphony of friendship calling them to one another. When they finally reunited, the relief and joy were palpable. They found comfort in each other's presence, their bonds strengthened by the trials they had overcome. Together, they navigated through the fog, each adapting to the other's perspectives and learning new ways to communicate. Their unity was their beacon, guiding them through the obscured paths of whispering woods. As the fog lifted, revealing the familiar beauty of the forest, the trio emerged more connected than ever. The vibrancy of the forest seemed to mirror their rejuvenated spirits. They made a vow to continue exploring and appreciating each other's unique worlds, understanding that their diverse perspectives only served to enrich their friendship. From that day on, Luna, Milo, and Bella shared more than just adventures. They shared a special bond, a secret language born from the heart of friendship. This language of hoots, taps, and lights became a symbol of their unity, a testament to the power of understanding and cooperation. It whispered through the leaves of whispering woods, a gentle reminder to all its inhabitants of the unyielding strength found in friendship and unity. Join our community of kids who love to learn and have fun by subscribing to our channel.